types of plugs you will encounter. This topic is very near and dear to my heart because unfortunately to this day, I still have to rely on these guys for my Zaza. So you can imagine after years of experience of buying from tens of different plugs, I'm quite certain I have dealt with every kind there is from the most vicious acting as gangsta as humanly possible thugs to the high school dudes who just want to fund their Zaza addiction by selling it. And I think it's appropriate to start off with the type of plug I bought from my very first time. And he was... The friend who knows a guy who knows a guy who has that exotic. This one isn't really officially a plug per se, but then again, I'm willing to bet this was how most people first encountered any type of Zaza seller. Every time when you and your friends discussed the grass and wanted to try it, he always said something like, Yeah man, if you really want some, I got a few connects and they always sell that exotic. But in reality, dude's connects were usually his older brother or friend who actually knew someone. So for me, the times I did acquire the grass through this man, that shit was always some Reggie for real. And not just that, it always had a massive markup, cause who else can you sell Oregano Mix Mid Za for premium price than a bunch of stupid youngsters? But I can't fault the homie too much, cause back then, man I swear, you could smell some grass and get faded, so everything seemed exotic, even if it was mostly herbs and spices bought at the discount aisle at Walmart. But even so, I ain't mad, cause that's the nature of business I guess. If a dude is willing to buy your Oregano pack for $30, then so be it. You gotta learn from it and move on. And so I did, and found myself a new plug, who was the... Yeah bro, th that's an eighth. It's just like super compact. You know, like a diamond. The dude who always shorts you. A plug like this never has any longevity. Cause I mean, after being shorted one or two times max, however much you crave the za, usually your self-respect won't allow you to go back to man's like... So? Got the eighth? Yeah, yeah, of course, dog. I'ma hook you up nicely this time. This some good shit. Nice. Show me the bag real quick, though. Gotcha, big dog. Here it is. Uh, uh, w w where is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, my bad. Y you need this to see it. Uh, okay. Do you see it now? It's like super compact. You know, like a diamond. Yeah, yeah, like, like a diamond, right? Yeah, okay, but um, uh, I'm gonna have to skip this one. I don't really even want any Za right now. Alright, bro, you're a loss. Get the fuck out of my car. You don't want no smoke, don't want no jazz. These are the plugs who exclusively sell to stupid kids, because anybody with any understanding of how one gram of Za should look like would just tell them to F off and remove him on Snapchat. But this guy also abuses his status of the plug to provoke fear into dudes who don't yet know any better and think these guys are all freaking mafia level gangsters who if you disagree with them, finna pull a Scarface and take out a M249 and start going bananas. But don't feel too bad if you've fallen for this scam before, because I have too. In fact, I I had a friend who was supposed to get 1 gram, but the plug gave him 0 0.1 and my man still bought it. Mostly because he didn't even know how much a gram is supposed to look like, so he just trusted him. And unfortunately, 0 0.1 grams of grass won't really get you faded, unless, you know, you got a Glebe. Which the Glebe is the world's only discrete portable gravity BONG, and if you know anything about graphs, you know they kick like a motherfucking unicorn. So even if you only have the leftover residue from the bottom of your grinder, you can still get blasted. But if you're feeling a bit insane, and pack a full hit, better be ready to discover and explore a whole new dimension of high, cause this thing doesn't let a single molecule of THC get away from being absorbed into your brain. So if you're looking for the ultimate on the go Zaza machine, check out the Glebe in the pinned comment below and use code CBDBRO for 15% off. Anyway, next type on the list is the complete opposite and one of my favorites and he is the always faded plug. This guy could also be called the plug who only sells to fund his copious amount of Zaza consuming on a daily basis. And why he is one of my favorites is for multiple reasons. Firstly, because he is the king of getting high off his own supply, he always has a comment on the stuff you're getting. Secondly, because man's is faded 24-7, he don't really want any confrontation, so he'll probably never short you. In in fact, sometimes out of the warmth of his heart, he'll throw some extra in there, depending if he likes you as a customer or not. And lastly, because he has evolved to a point where being high is his normal state, which don't ever get that far, it's not good for your health, and it can and will ruin your life no matter how much you hear Saza isn't addictive, it can be if you take it too far. But anyway, because of the fact he cannot live without the magic ring plan in his system, in my experience, he has always had a 100% success rate to the text. Hey yo, you got any? That meaning, Mans is more reliable than a Volvo. Mans is more dependable than James Bond. Mans is more loyal than a golden retriever. God damn! 
The only problem, well, problem for you, the customer, is he is usually pretty on and off on the plugin business. Because if you can get that addicted to Za, it's usually a personality trait. So knowing that, this guy either smokes every day 24-7, or he is completely grass-free. And when he is grass-free, he disappears like the avatar. So yeah. But now on to the next plug on the list, and he is the plug who should have probably started an actual business instead. This plug is quite rare, and I've only ever met one of these mofos, but oh boy what a roller coaster ride it was i remember it like it was yesterday i was looking for some grass so i hit up my usual plug only for him to inform me he is quote out of the game but will give me the snapchat of a guy who is quote new to the game and so he did and after writing man's asking for some grass he told me to meet up near a construction store and since this was a while ago i ain't have my license yet so i ran me an e-scooter and rolled up and the person who greeted me was none other than mr invisible yeah no that was like his actual snapchat username anyway it was the short guy who kind of looked like a goblin but he seemed quite serious and was the first plug ever to write me afterwards asking how was the stuff and after replying he also gave me a free freaking affiliate program not for real he told me every friend i link him up with he will give me 20 bucks if they ever buy from him i ended up not doing that because it kind of seemed ridiculous like bro you sell grass not fucking vpn subscriptions but over the next six months i would see this man build a snapchat grass cartel dudes was posting stories every day of his illegal activities like he had the cops under his payroll or something and funniest part was over the six months that i acquired the grass from him i saw how his ten dollar camo pants and $15 Shane jacket turned into Gucci pants and an Armani jacket like god damn bro was really trying to be the local Scarface and dudes even had mofos working for him like sometimes I'd write him and he'd literally reply come here I'll get an employee to bring it to you employee employee bro was acting like he mr crab sending spongebob to secure the secret formula but unfortunately his plugging career ended in about six months where he sent us off with a heartwarming goodbye on his snapchat story reading greetings my beloved customers i am informing you all that i will unfortunately no longer be your plug as i am moving on it was great while it lasted and i wish you all the best as for the zaza i mentioned three people in this story who will fill my shoes in this field stay cool Peace out. And the craziest part is, I'm not making any of this up. This dude was a legit comedy movie character, and his personality reflected it. He was like the generic Slav Trapper guy who tried his hardest to act as gangsta as humanly possible, and every sense man said had to have at least two curse words. So yeah, although he is the most memorable pug I've ever had, he definitely wasn't my favorite. That spot has to go to the friendly neighborhood plug. The best plug a man can ask for. This will be the dude that lives close to your neighborhood so you don't have to travel around the whole of Skyrim just to get some za. But if that wasn't enough, this is the plug that also, as the name suggests, is friendly and doesn't act all gangsta nor shorts you for no reason nor is high 24-7, he's just a chill, reliable guy. And sometimes, he'll even come to you, cause you live in the same neighborhood and he enjoys riding his bike while flipping packs and making racks. And unfortunately, however much this dude is just a normal human being, in the field of plugs, well, he's like a diamond. Very rare. So if you you got yourself a plug like this be thankful for your blessings because your next one is probably gonna be the usual local wannabe pablo escobar but hey plugs usually switch like every four months anyway so don't be discouraged when yours is well weird but before i go make sure you join the discord and take part on this sunday smoke sesh with me where we might play among us hmm i don't know we'll see until then peace